Howdy guys, welcome to the cave. I'm Mark, and you're watching Blue Street Customs. Hey everybody, and welcome. Well, as you may know, the wife and I and the stepson went out for the weekend. Went out to Speedway 660 in Gary, New Brunswick. They had a double header there, so there was racing on Saturday and Sunday. I'll have a video coming out on that soon. It'll be a two-part episode. I recorded quite a bit of the, the racing. Anyways, during our travels, stopped in Fredericton, went to Oromocto, different places, and uh, we stopped at this one garage sale at a storage unit. And uh, I found some pretty good stuff. Now, calculating roughly what it would cost me to get this stuff here in Canada, about $235 is what it would cost if I had to order this stuff, either through Amazon or hobby store websites, things like that. Things here in Canada cost quite a bit more to get. But let me show you what I got. Now, in the storage unit, I noticed a couple model cars this storage unit if i had a couple thousand dollars i would have come home with quite a bit more stuff this storage unit the stuff they were selling was pretty much all nascar die casts pillows christmas ornaments everything was all nascar and uh <clears throat> trust me i would have bought a whole bunch of it if i had the money but anyways some of the stuff i did find that i was able to afford I'll tell you what I paid for it at the end, but I did look it up, and it was about 235 bucks, give or take, um, that it would cost me if I had to order this stuff online. So, in one box, I found a model car box. Unfortunately, the car was not in it. It was Dale Earnhardt Sr. It was a model car. Wish it was in there. That was the whole point I kind of grabbed the rest of the stuff but i wanted that specific model it wasn't in there but what was in the box was a whole bunch of this stuff testers enamel paints now most of these i mean they have been sitting around for a while as you can see but a good shaking and they'll all come back to life you know like there's still lots of fluid in there they just need you know a good shaking but we got yellows, blacks, flat blacks, whites, some metallic blues, gold, regular blue, orange, green. So right there, I mean, that's here in Canada, that's quite a bit of money. Okay. Something else that was in the box, um, blue uh, testers spray paint, dark blue. And we got some red here, some just plain red I guess anyways this one has been used um, this one has been used too but it must have been on a different model or something I'll show you what I mean in a bit here this one um, I've got one of the models that it was used on so anyways again I can't even get this stuff shipped to me through the mail um, I can't get aerosol cans so basically I have to go to a a hobby store if I want any type of these testers or Tamiya aerosol paints. Now, I'll also be showing you something because in our travels, I stopped at Elm City Hobbies um, out in Hanwell on our way to uh, Oromocto. Actually, on our way to Fredericton. But anyways, something else that was in that storage unit, and uh, I got all of this stuff for one lump sum. All the paints, models, all this stuff. So I got one of these. Let's see, I might have to move up here a bit. So a testers uh, paint kit, you know, a few paints, not a big deal. Has been opened, but looking through the paints, um, according to the box of what's supposed to be in it, the colors that are supposed to be in here, uh, a couple of them are, I think there's three of them missing. But uh, obviously they were put in. So we got again flat black, white, and blue. 
stoplight red, turn signal amber, a matte canary yellow, regular yellow, orange, rust, and a matte arctic white. So again, looking up online for me, these are about 45, 48, depending on where they're coming from. Um, so 48 bucks in, in Canada, just to order these online. So, I mean, there's what, uh, 10 of them in here, I think it is? Nine bottles. So there's nine paints in here, and we've got what, two, four, six, eight, ten here. So you're looking at, you know, let's say almost 50 bucks with tax. So that's a hundred dollars, just these paints here, right? Also, there was this. Now, it looks like it was open. I actually opened it. So this box was sealed, okay? I haven't looked this one up. I haven't been able to find it. I mean, it's saying for four ninety six. How long has the guy had it? Because I mean, nowadays this isn't four ninety six. Not here in Canada, anyways. But if I can find it, I'll uh, I'll see if I can post a, a price up on the screen for you. But anyways, these things are. I mean, the box was sealed, so they are brand new. Now these are acrylic paints. I've never used these before, so I don't know what they're like to paint with. I mean, these enamels, I used these as I was a kid. You know, uh, those are great paints. There's nothing wrong with them. I do not like these testers acrylic paints. I bought these. I tried a couple colors. I haven't touched them since. So these things are brand new. You know, I am I may just give them away or throw them in the garbage. In my opinion, these t new testers acrylics, they're garbage. These testers, or, well, actually, no, this isn't testers. This is Revell. So, I don't know what this is like. I mean, this looks like it's a silver. It looks like they've been sitting around for a while. It comes with this really cheap paintbrush. But I'll give them a mix up and, uh, and see what they're like. I'll test them on some plastic or something, some kind of garbage. And yeah, it looks like maybe aluminum. There's nothing here. Well, maybe there. Some of the colors, anyways. I mean, there's more colors here than it's than there is on the back of the box. But, anyways, so that's that's that. So again, I mean, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna take a, a wild guess at maybe 15 bucks here in Canada. So you know we're. 115 these I can't even get online and There's only one hobby store in New Brunswick um, And they he doesn't even carry this stuff Because again, it's hard for him to get this stuff in Canada and it's not even worth it because of the amount that he'd have to buy and The price he'd have to sell it at just isn't worth it, but I know ordering them or seeing them online for us in Canada, they're about 15 bucks a piece. So again, you're 30, you're say 130, 145 bucks already. So give me a second, I'm gonna grab the other things that I got and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's one of the main things that I wanted and the main reason I bought all of this stuff in one lump sum. And again, I'll tell you the price after. Here's one of the cars. Monogram number five Kellogg's and this was I believe Tony Stewart. I think it was no Terry Labonte. Sorry But anyways, I mean this is one of the fairly classic models, you know, like it's a uh, You've seen these ones back in the day. I think some of them have been re-released. It's a 124 scale You know, it's got the write-up on on Terry Labonte and stuff like that his car you know, this is the uh, the number five, number five car. Now, there is no plastic on this, so yes, it was opened. But, when I looked through it, the instructions are here. Doesn't look like they've been touched. Stickers are here. Well, not stickers. The water slide decals. You know, and everything's in good shape. Uh, your main sponsors, main sponsor Kellogg's obviously, but your other sponsors and the number and the striping is all like one, 
one decal. Uh, you got the lettering for the tires, you know, things like that. Some smaller fender decals, big roof number. Car is cast in or molded in plastic. Um, there is quite a bit of flash on these, so that's how you can tell that they are the the older ones. You know, there's a lot of mold lines here and there, but still very nice car. It doesn't even have the uh, roof flaps on it. Roof flaps are the uh, cowl flaps for when they turn backwards. But everything seems to be pretty much in its place. I mean, there is even still a bit of the bag, right? Nothing's been cut off that I can tell. You know, nice solid rubber tires. It's got the raised, raised lettering on that for the Goodyear. Not bad. Smooth side, but I think your rims can only go in one way anyways. Now, this chrome here, this is some of the nicer chrome. This here was meant more to look like a uh, aluminum instead of actual chrome. Shiny, shiny chrome. Now, there's, there's the race car. This stuff here is meant to look like the aluminum. You know, kind of a chrome plating, I guess but more realistic looking as opposed to this type of chrome right this is different car but everything seems to be here we got hood pins the alternator carburetor you know the fan i believe that's a fan shroud you know your air cleaner valve covers cylinder heads all that stuff i mean that's that's a nice shape and again, look at the flash, you know, lots of flash here and there. Not too bad on the parts, but, you know, you can still see it along the edges here, the, the bumper, this side especially. All right. So it is an older kit. I mean, some of it's still in the plastic yet. Nothing's been cut off. You know, you have your windows the side vents and everything I'll put those on top so they don't get scratched up some parts falling off but everything's still pretty much in the bag so this one here is obviously on build which is a nice thing okay. lots of flash lots of flash there you get your firewall back deck fuel cell hoods in decent shape all your suspension, engine cradle, the engine block and transmission, your front suspension with the steering ge uh, geometry and all that stuff on it, steering box, pedals, exhaust, rear diff, you know, so everything looks really good. Nothing's in bad shape or broken. So I'm going to put this one away and I'll bring out the, the next one and I'll show you what else I got. Hey, so the next one we got, or that I got at the uh, that's garage sale, 94 McDonald's, Bill Elliott. Again, I mean, this is definitely an older kit. Still a uh, 124 scale. Pretty much identical vehicles, no matter how you look at it. It's got some write-up on the vehicle itself and this and that. Same over here. Now... Remember the red spray can? This is how I know it was used. So, you may think, oh, it was just, you know, molded in red. No, it wasn't. If you look underneath, you can see the white. So, again, somebody started this. I'll have to try and clean it up because obviously they didn't get the bottom of the car, you know, things like this. So, there's going to be some work to do. Otherwise, not a bad paint job. You can see a bunch of trash in the paint. Go off the wet sand, maybe respray it. <clears throat> you know, but this one here is obviously a newer car. You can see the roof flaps on it. Uh, it's got the cowl flaps. You know, so that was painted. The chassis itself painted. Well, most of it, anyways. Hood. So obviously it was cast in white. So we got the instructions. I haven't. Comp oh, we do have all the uh, the decals here. 94, not sure where that goes on the car, but 
must be somewhere. McDonald's is the main sponsor. It's got uh, racing seat belts there. Your sponsors are uh, still grouped up, but at least they're a little more individual, not part of the main number. You get your stripes on the car for going around the front fenders. So the car has got to be two-toned, right? So that's not bad. Those things are in good, good condition. Booklet, almost, I guess. Nice, clear uh, instructions. Very easy to read. Okay, he started started painting stuff. I mean, it didn't do too bad, but I mean, he missed a lot of a lot of spots, right? So I'm gonna have to try and clean and fix a bunch of this stuff up. Finish painting stuff. A lot more stuff has obviously been cut off because he was painting it. Now look at the dash and stuff like that. I mean, it's almost identical parts, right? Fuel cells are exactly the same. Big heavy-duty racing seat. Now look at this chrome compared to the other car. Very shiny. Looks like some has been cut off, so hopefully we're not missing too, too much. But I do have another race car model here, and I do believe it's a Ford that parts were missing. So maybe I can steal some parts from that one to maybe finish this one up properly. Your wheels. Again, a lot, a lot of the rear suspension, drive shafts, things like that. Some of the roll cage. The front suspension is almost exactly the same. Steering box, rear springs, exhaust. I mean, most of this is exactly the same as the number five car. Some plastic, get rid of that. Didn't paint the front bumper. Although, according to the picture, it's supposed to be white, so... Maybe he just planned on leaving it that way. So again, piece is missing here. Not sure exactly what's missing, but I'll figure it out as I build it, when I build it. Glass seems to be in decent shape. A couple little scuffs from not being packaged up properly. This one here, exact same tires. Still has good gear on them and the Eagle. So everything there is in good shape. So again, like I said, this this all came from a garage sale. So you know you, you got to take that with a with a grain of salt, I guess. You know, every, some stuff might be missing, things broken off. Hopefully, nothing too major is missing. So I'm gonna pack this one up, and I'll show you the next one. Okay, guys. Well, here we go. Mark Martin, number six, Valvoline. Nice monogram, and this one is actually factory sealed. So it's got the plastic on it still, a couple more pictures, some write-ups on the car, exactly the same as the rest of them, right? So I'm not going to open this one, I'm going to leave it in the box, and uh, maybe someday I'll open it up. We'll, uh, we'll build this here on the channel. Now, speaking of which, let me know. Do you want to see me build these these cars I mean, I've got a few more up on the shelf yet uh, I think I got two more cars up there that are different um, yeah if you want to see me build them leave a comment down below and while you're leaving a comment how about you hit that like button that helps out the algorithms and while you're at it maybe hit the subscribe button with the bell so you can get notified when I post videos let me know which car to build first if you want to see me build them. So that was my haul from this garage sale. Three model cars, right? And here in Canada, looking at them online, I found two of them. Uh, the McDonald's car was $48 to order up, not including shipping or tax. The Kellogg's car was $67, not including tax. Or shipping haven't found this one yet but going by what the other two are I'm gonna say this one's probably in the same range of 45 to 60 bucks so you're looking at 150 150 bucks roughly just for the three models 
to be ordered, not including shipping or taxes. What did I say for the paints? So I'm looking at almost $250, $300 worth of models. Now, how much did I pay for all of this? Trust me, I got a great deal. Let me tell you, I paid $50 for all three model cars, all of these paints, the spray paints, the Revell paints, and these tester paints, roughly $300, we'll round it off, rough estimate here, about $300, and I paid $50 for all of it. Now, tell me that's not a good deal. That's almost a steal, really. But they don't want it no more. I did want it. And here, it's now on the channel. If you guys want to see me build it. So let me know what you think of all of this. I forgot to put somebody's tires away. Oh, well. I'll put them in the box in a minute. So let me know what you think of all of this. If you got any good comments let me know down below what you think would you have bought all of this stuff for fifty dollars knowing that most of them haven't even been opened or touched you know knowing that you can't order this stuff and have it shipped to you wherever you are oh by the way while i was out and about this weekend yes i got this stuff at a garage sale but i also picked up stuff again which would cost me quite a bit if I had to order it online. But lucky enough, this uh, model shop that I stopped at had this stuff. I picked up a uh, new Tamiya Extra Thin Quick Set, seven bucks here in Canada anyways, plus tax. I also picked up this uh, Detail Masters uh, distributor kit with the photo etch and the, the aluminum and everything. Aluminum distributor, the wires for it, $10.75 plus tax. And one of these seat belt kits. It's got the thread in it. It's got the generic buckles, GM buckles, and unfortunately Mustang buckles, but only four of them, thank God. And then your uh, your latch part of it and everything. I don't know if you can see that. It's not too bad. So anyways, for this one here, again, 1075 plus tax. Now, oh, I also picked up some uh, Tamiya one mil uh, masking tape, one mil wide. There's two rolls in there. Hard to tell, but there is two rolls. $3 for that plus tax. All from uh, Elm City Hobbies out towards Fredericton here in New Brunswick. They are online, so maybe give them a check out if you're here in Canada. Um, they ship all across Canada and U.S., so give them a check out. They have lots of models there. They have lots of um, Vallejo paints, lots and lots of Vallejo paint colors. Um, so, yeah, check them out. I'll leave a link down in the description for their website. So, that's, uh, that's everything I got this weekend, you know. Didn't get a sunburn from the races or anything, so we're doing good. So I'm going to leave you there with that. Leave your comments down below. Check out my Facebook, my Facebook page, my Instagram. Links for all of that will be down in the description, along with the, the link for my Patreon if you want to check that out. So until next time, later.